Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the VXE R1 SE Plus. Now I know you're thinking, what in the hell is that? And why does it have such a strange name? And I was thinking the same at first too. But then I ordered it and I was astounded. This little piece of equipment, this mouse to be uh, straight to the fact, this is a gaming mouse or productivity mouse, whatever you want to call it. This little beast, for £17, you get so much. Let's dive into it. Okay, so unboxing the mouse now. Um, what you get in the box, what you should expect, is another box which is casing the mouse. It is quite a tight squeeze, however, it just shows how nicely packaged it is. This is what you're getting, right? Look at this, this is just beautiful. The quality of the box, I, I've i never seen anything like it, and I don't know if I'm just a really amateur at buying mouses, but truly one of the, one of the best I've ever seen. Um, this is the this is the back, it really is not important. However, the juicy bit is inside, okay? You just, this bit is like quite bad, because uh, that bit right there just, open it like this, place that to the side, and now this is what you're greeted with. It doesn't look like much, however it is only a mouse, so you're greeted with a USB-C, I believe, braided cable, so it's really nice quality. Um, hold on. Focus, yeah that's it. It's very long as well. Um, which you probably won't need it because this is wireless it does use bluetooth i believe or something like that now this is the mouse itself so what you want to do is just get your finger and just push out and it can just come out like that see how easy that is very nice uh, just put that there this this is the mouse right the the build quality i 17 pounds it is like amazing i don't think there's anything on the market that could compare to like the quality of this like if you it doesn't sound bad quality at all the switches here's a switch test they sound amazing i do not know what switches they are but you know and then you have the, the charging port right there for the USB C that just plugs in um, and now, this is where you need to know what's happening. This right here is the DPI button if you are not able to download the app. Okay. This is the area where you switch modes for Bluetooth, uh, just connection by the USB C, or if you just want it to turn off. <sighs> Excuse me. And then this little compartment right here. You just get your thumb, you just go under like that, boom, it will just fall straight off, and you have the USB, oh my goodness, um, and that is what it looks like. It has a 2.4 gigahertz, sorry, um, like, rate, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what that means, however, what I do know is that it has a maximum of a thousand hertz polling rate, um, which you can it can go higher however i did not buy the dongle for it to go up to 4k um, and i have heard bad things about people using 4k on a mouse okay awesome now assuming you have set up your mouse there literally is nothing to do you just have to plug the usb in to your pc and put the switch on all the way up to the furthest one like that once you've done that come to Google and you're going to want to type in ATKV hub okay so this is going to be the software that you need to download in order to change DPI uh, polling rate um, and just stuff like that so click on probably going to be the first one first link and then you're going to see all these tabs up here now go to ATKV Hub and then it will 
we say Windows um, 2.3.40. I have no idea what that means. Just click download, um, and yeah, that'll be it. Now, as you can see, I have it downloaded. I'm going to double click on that. And here it will, it's all going to be in Chinese because it is a Chinese company, I think, I believe it is. So, what, uh, right, right here, when you first load on, it's going to look like this, okay? So, go to the three lines up here, and this is going to be where you can find settings and all that, okay? Now, go to the cog, and then right here, it's going to have like a world symbol thing click on that and then it'll have these languages so you're gonna want to click on English okay now you've changed it to English well done now you can click on the mouse and you can see all these things um, DPI settings this is quite an important one if you are like an FPS gamer um, or to be honest just any gamer you need to know what your DPI is and not to be too fast and all that so you have all these different settings, it can go up to 18,000, which I highly doubt you need. So, uh, yeah. Performance settings, you have all these different polling rates, you have 125, 250, 500, and 1000, which I personally use. Um, I would honestly just keep all these settings the same, or copy mine, I don't know if they're different or not. Um, and then go to others if you need to update. See, wait, hold on, I can't see. It might say update now and I would recommend doing that because you need to get all the latest upgrades or updates I mean sorry um, for the mouse so you don't have any stuttering and all that um, and that's about it in the app so I haven't really told you why this mouse is like so good well first of all it is 16 to 17 pound um, if you get it normally without any like, attachments uh, like with that you should just want to buy it if you are on say a budget um, it has a 3395 sensor which is like a pretty good sensor for £17 um, not only that it looks amazing the, the matte black style uh, with the white skates I just think looks so good um, even like the little writing outside you can't see it that well but it just it's a really quality mouse for 17 to like 20 pounds right so very quickly we're gonna do a switch test like the sound and then we're also gonna do um, how the scroll wheel sounds okay so these are the switches of the VXE R1 SE Plus. Now we're going to do the scroll wheel. Which, it just sounds like a normal scroll wheel. There is nothing special to it. However, the cost and the weight of this, right? I believe this is like 48 grams. It can go to like 43, I think. And I believe that's lighter than the Logitech Superlight. I'm not too sure though. Someone correct me on that. But it's just an amazing mouse that looks amazing, feels amazing. The grip, like, like even if you have sweaty hands, like you still have really good grip. Uh, it's cheap. It's very affordable. I should say that. Uh, good sensor. Sounds good. Um, and it's good quality. So. With all these four things, I really think you should buy it. Um, you can find it on AliExpress for £17, like I said. Um, and don't let the fact that it's on AliExpress deter you away from the fact that it's a really good mouse, okay? I, I really was questioning if I should buy it or not, but then I just, I just went for it, you know? I've seen so many good reviews about it, so yeah. With all that being said, this is going to wrap up my review of the... VXE R1 Dragonfly Lightweight Wireless Mouse. This mouse is quality. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.